Hello! Welcome to this short tutorial on how to create objects with transparencies and then bring them into MovieZoo. For this tutorial we're going to use Google SketchUp, the latest release of MovieZoo, and an image editing program. I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can use any image editing program that supports transparencies. You'll be able to find all the links that I mentioned in this video in the description below, and if you get stuck, please don't hesitate to comment on this video or head on over to the MovieZoo forums at MovieZoo.com and ask for help. The first thing you'll need to do is download a copy of Google SketchUp, which is available from the Google SketchUp website. You're then going to need to get a copy of the SketchUp ASE Exporter plugin from the MovieZoo website. Once you've downloaded the plugin, go to your plugins directory in your Google SketchUp install folder and put the file in there. Open up SketchUp and bring the object that you want to apply a transparency to into it. You can use any object you want, either one of your own creations or something from the Google 3D warehouse. We're going to use a cube for this tutorial since it's a very simple object. Now we have our shape, we're going to go into our image editing program and create a new image. Traditionally textures have to be a size that's a factor of 2, 32 pixels by 32 pixels, 128 pixels by 128 pixels and so on. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to create one that's 64 pixels by 64 pixels. Once you've got your image size selected, you need to make it transparent. If you're in Photoshop, you can do this by setting the background color of your image to transparent when you're creating it. Other applications, you may have to create the image and then set about erasing the contents of the top layer. The theory is basically the same, even if the practice is just a little bit different. Select the Fill tool, select a color, and then lower the opacity of the fill tool until it's around where you want. If you want something to be like glass, then set it to about 10% opacity. If you want it to be like a thick fog, set it to around 80%. Click on the image that you've made and it should fill with a semi-transparent color. If you can't see white and gray squares behind the color that you've just added, then you've not got the opacity set up quite right. Save your image as a .png file. PNG files support transparency. It's very important that you pick the right kind of file for this, because if you don't, the transparency that you just made won't be saved to your texture. Go back into SketchUp and click the Paint Bucket tool at the top of the screen. That will bring up the Materials menu. There's a button that looks like a cardboard box with a plus sign on it. Click that. That will create a new material and bring up the Create Material menu. Once in here, you should see a part of it that's called Texture. Click the Browse for Material Image file next to the text box and find the image that you created in Photoshop. Click Open once you've found and selected it. Click your object with the Paint Bucket tool. This should paint one face of the object with the texture that you just created. If you want to paint all the faces at the same time, press Ctrl and A to select everything and then left click anywhere on the object. Once you're happy with how your object has been textured, right click on it and select Make Component. You can give it any name you want, but we're going to name ours Q. Now all you need to do is export it and then import it into MovieZoo. Check the Plugins menu at the top of SketchUp and select MovieZoo ASE Exporter. Give your object a name, leave the model option as it is, and then set collision to none, movie zoo generated collision. Pick a location to save your model to, and then click save. Head into movie zoo, and open the create object menu. Click import, and then click browse. Find the model you want to import, and then select it just as you would with bringing any other object into movie zoo from another application. Once you've got it selected, be sure to set Map Alpha 2 to Opacity. Everything else can stay as it is. Click OK and the object should import with your transparency intact. I hope this has been helpful to you. Remember that there are links in the description below and if you get stuck, don't hesitate to comment on this video or head on over to the MovieZoo forums and ask for help. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.